Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be using a third party plugin for Adobe Dreamweaver to make a gallery that you could insert into any web page. And a perfect example of this could be found on Octodesigner.com. Octodesigner.com is actually my personal freelance graphic designing website. And if you click on the portfolio page, you can actually see some of my graphic designing work. And you could just click on an image and the surrounding area goes dark and the image loads and pops up and then it'll say image 18 out of 45 or whatever numbers and you'll have a previous and a next and you could just go through my work just like that and then you could cl click on the close button over here press the escape key to close it or just click outside in this darkened area to close the image and that's exactly what we're going to be making today so let's open up Dreamweaver and actually I have the exact example of what we're going to be making today already made so let's go ahead and preview this in uh, Safari or your default web browser and save two images. These are the default images that come with it. You click on it and just like that, you automatically get that effect. And actually, this is a lot simpler than you guys probably think it is. So let's get started. Let's click on File, New. And let's make a new HTML. And then what we're going to do is make our website folder. I already made mine on the desktop if you guys noticed. It's the gallery website right here. And I'll just save this as gallery.html and press save. And then what we're going to do is click on help, click on Dreamweaver Exchange, and then click on Dreamweaver, and then just search for this um, for the third party plugin. Now, the name of this plugin is Thickbox. And you search it, and then the Thickbox gallery comes up right here. It's going to be the first one, it's going to be the only one and then you press download. Make sure that you need to be signed into your Adobe account. So go ahead and be signed into your account. And after you download it, it should open up in your Adobe Download Manager. So just like that, after you sign in, it'll say thank you and your download should begin shortly. And just like that, we get this pop-up. And if we double click on it, it'll open up in the Adobe Download Manager or the Extension Manager. And then it'll say Loading Extensions. And then you'll have to accept for the um, the terms of service for the gallery. Now I'm going to decline because I already installed this gallery plugin. But you would want to accept it and then you'll install the gallery. And then what you'll want to do is restart your computer and open up Dreamweaver again. So now let's head back to Dreamweaver. And after you restart your computer, Dreamweaver should have this. Go to insert and you'll see this new thing that you could hover over. It's TNC widgets. And then if you hover over it, you'll get thick box gallery. And you will want to click on that. Now, because I already had my site defined, I already had my website folder, and I already did it once, um, it already installed the files that it should install into your website folder. Now, the first thing it's going to prompt you to do is going to show two broken images, and then it's going to say that um, for this plugin to work properly, it'll need to install a couple files into your website folder, and you'll probably want to do that for it to work, obviously. So just press OK, it'll install the files, and then this should work, and you'll get these two images. And now if we go and save this, and then preview it in uh, my web browser. We'll see these two images again, and it works perfectly. Now you're probably gonna wanna add more than two images, so to do that, head back to Dreamweaver, uh, just click on one of the images, press Command-C or Control-C if you're on Windows to copy, then click over here, and press Command-V or Control-V if you're on Windows to paste. And just press OK to this, and just like that, it pastes another one. And you could just keep going like that, and so on and so on. We'll get five, maybe. And just like that, we have six, actually, um, six gallery images. And what we could do in addition is click on any one of them. We'll change our source right here to the thumbnail image that you want to show up and the link to the actual full image that you want to show up. You could also change the width and the height over here, um, add borders and anything that like that. And it really doesn't get much simpler than that. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys learned something today, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Octotoots.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.